Hi you guys, so I'm showing you my granola recipe. I make this every week and I use it for cereal and toppings on like non-dairy yogurt and oatmeal. Very simple. Just adding some oats to a large bowl along with some ground flaxseed. Those were pumpkin seeds. I'm going to crush some walnuts and pecans, pecans, however you like to say it. <laughs> um, this is all just by taste. Um, I've been making this for a while. I will link a recipe below to my recipe page on Facebook with exact measurements. This is going to be a sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm going to next add some coconut sugar. So just about a tablespoon or so. I'm going to add maple syrup later so you go easy on the coconut sugar. Um, that's a tablespoon of coconut oil. That's optional. I left it out one week and it was okay, but I was wondering why it tastes a little different. So definitely optional, but I like the flavor. That was vanilla, the maple syrup. I added a little bit more, but my um, phone wasn't recording. So definitely sweeten to taste and stir, stir, stir. I do a lot of stirring in this video. Like I'm definitely gonna edit that out next time. Bake it at 350 degrees for about 7 to 10 minutes. Watch it because it will burn. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Here's me just making a bowl of cereal, add banana, sometimes other fruits. Um, also just some unsweetened coconut flakes and a little unsweetened almond milk. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, so on to dinner. Just making like a rotini pasta with a Caesar kale salad, of course, vegan. And I'm just adding the ingredients for the pesto. It's like a bunch of basil. Um, I use walnuts because they're cheaper than pine nuts and that's what I had. Some nutritional yeast, a squeeze of lemon, olive oil, salt to taste. And we're gonna just blitz it in the food processor until it's the consistency and the taste that you desire. And I'm just gonna boil the pasta next. So now I'm just pretty much making some ghetto croutons. <laughs> um, I don't know if the ones in the store are vegan or not, but honestly I didn't have time to go to the, go to the store. And um, yeah, I happen to have just one lone bun that needs to be used. So I cut it up and I'm gonna make my own garlic butter. That's some vegan butter, the Earth Balance. That's what I usually use. I'm just going to add some garlic, even a little onion powder, and parsley flakes. You can use Italian seasonings as well, but I'm just going with parsley. I'm just going to toss that in. I'm going to bake it. I don't know what I baked it on, but um, I just baked it in the oven so it was crisp. But, you know, not burnt. Alright, so these are the last few cherry tomatoes I had in my refrigerator. I rinsed them, sliced them, drizzled some olive oil, salt, um, garlic powder, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. I roasted them at 425 for about 20 minutes, just until they're just a little bit roasted. And on to our kale salad. I washed the leaves, of course I'm chopping it up. I used to hate kale salads, but I really like them now, and it's very inexpensive um, if you chop it yourself. So I'm just going to chop it up, and the trick to a good kale salad is the dressing and to massage it. So we're going to do all that. Alright, so I'm just going to squeeze some lemon in here to kind of massage and loosen up those leaves, otherwise it's very tough. 
bitter and not really easy to eat. So you definitely need to massage your kale. I'm gonna add like a little drizzle of olive oil. I don't believe it's on camera, like a smallest drizzle. And then I'm adding a homemade Caesar dressing and homemade Parmesan. Both are vegan. I will link them below because this video would be way too long. <laughs> if I showed you step by step, these were already made. I'm just going to add some more because why not? And it's time for plating. Alright, so I'm just going to add some vegan mozzarella. I basically just put it like in little balls and plated it up and that is my meal. You all, this is so yummy. Like, this is very, very tasty. This is my favorite salad to make, probably because of the croutons and the dressing. And I really, really love the pesto with the mozzarella and the cherry tomatoes. Give it a try. 